Welcome back guys, my name is Sobi. Uh, today uh, we're gonna talk about uh, the administration panel and the front end of the e-commerce shop that we're building. Uh, in the last uh, two uh, days I had some spare time to uh, work on this. Um, not much because it was the children's day here in Romania and um, since I have two kids uh, we were out from town and had some uh, great memories together. So uh, I had a spare time to work uh, on this, I think one, one hour or so. And um, what have I've done is that I've separated the uh, front and let's say the, the public area of the site of the, uh, of the shop from the admin panel. So for this, what I've done, we've done um, um, multiple things and I will show it to you. We've separated on a subdomain, so we have the admin dot dot test, for example, and the front end the the public area it's without the subdomain. So let me let's jump in and get started, and uh, let me explain what I what ha, what what have I've done for for this to work. So we're in the project, as you remember, we have the API. Uh, Previously we had localhost 8020, but I've changed that and we have now uh, apip.test. So I've made this mostly because um, I have multiple projects on my computer and uh, I, would, I wanted to have it uh, separate by um, a DNS name. So for this uh, I've made uh, some tweaks here and there and I will show them to you. So here's the api.test and uh, when we log in, um, we log in. Okay, as you can see, I'm logged in and the api.test slash dashboard. And I don't have the administrations here because I wanted to separate that and move that to a subdomain. And now uh, I have the right to be an admin and when I click, as you can see, it will change the URL. So it will be um, admin.api.p.test. Um, so as you can see, we have dashboard, categories, ACL, everything, the users, the permissions, it's working. And uh, the interesting thing is that if I delete the admin, I go back to the same dashboard, right? Mm -hmm. But on the main domain. And if we go to the admin, we are back at the subdomain. So for this to work, we had to do some uh, tweaks. So the first one uh, was that I had to change um, the Docker Compose. Uh, I've um, mapped some ports here, as you can see. And on the engine side, uh, side, side, sorry, I set the server name to uh, wildcard so any subdomain.api.test will work okay and I made some uh, uh, mapping to the allow and uh, origin hosts but I'm not using this at the moment after this I made some uh, modifications in the docker uh, file I exposed the 8080 port I, I believe it was exposed before as well and in the webpack uh, mix uh, I didn't make any changes, they work as expected before. And afterwards, so this exposes the api.p.test domain, and afterwards I've opened the terminal and, and edited um, etc hosts. Right? So I've added this, uh, these two um, domains, the main domain and the subdomain to work and my computer sees it as a dns okay so this is how the admin panel works besides that in the application folder you have the uh, the doc project folder you have the config folder and there you have the session the session you have the um, different session uh, settings and also you have the app where you have different uh, settings but in the sessions session we have something called 
Uh, one second. The cookie, session cookie. Dot env or the session domain. Sorry, not the cookie. So for the session domain, I've set up a wildcard for api.p.test. As you can see, in the front, we have a leading point or dot. This allows us to use the same login on any of the routes uh, for this case. Uh, for other cases, uh, you will want to change that. And uh, for tenancy, for example, you, you, you don't want to allow the user to be logged in on another account's uh, uh, behalf. So we have this API.pTest. And this allows us when we log in, as you, as you see before, API.test. As you've seen before, we've logged in here. And also, when we're logged in, we're logged in on the admin subdomain as well. OK, so if I log out and I want to do a next uh, step, I also I am also logged out here. But if I log in back here at the admin page, you will see that automatically I am logged in here as well if I refresh because we've set the same session domain to be allowed on subdomains as well as on the main domain. So this is what I've done. Also, I've wanted to have the login both on the public side of the project and on the admin side of the project. So for this, I've made the route uh, both on the admin side I and I've made the route on the public side. So this uh, allows me to log in both from uh, on the public page and both on the admin page. As you can see, if I'm now on the admin p test uh, subdomain, I'm able to log in. Okay, and if I switch to the api.test domain, you will see that instantly I'm authenticated also there. Okay, so I'm authenticated. And also I can switch back to the admin part without problem. But if I log in or log out from either of the domains, for example, I'm logging out from the do, uh, admin subdomain, and I go to the main domain, I'm also logged out here. So how I've done this, I've made a um, routes. As you can see, I've made the admin folder and I've made the web. And there I've inserted a custom uh, uh, authenticated session controller, which I've copied uh, from the base project and extended it and uh, modified it to be to log in on the demo domain uh, on the admin domain. Sorry. And also um, this works. And also I've made a copy of this controller, as you can see, and uh, made a folder inside the admin uh, folder and the auth controller. This points to the admin domain. Domain, Sorry. And also what I've done on the Vue.js side with uh, Inertia.js is that um, I have um, made a page and also have made sub um, folders with admin. And here I have different folders also for the login page, which points to the admin login route. And also I've made the layouts. So when someone logs in, for example, now I'm on the api.test, let's log in. When someone logs in uh, on the front page and it's not an admin, it's unable to go to the admin subdomain. But for example, now I will log in and and I'm a uh, super user, super admin, let's call. I'm able to jump on the admin domain. For now, when I'm jumping here, you will see that I'm not using the authenticated layout, but I'm using the authenticated admin layout. OK, so if we go to the uh, uh, here. Oh, sorry, let's uh, hot reload this one second. Docker and API P hot reload. OK. One second, let's boot this up. OK, 
and I refresh it and now I have the view here. As you can see, I'm now on the authenticated admin layout. So this holds different uh, menu items which are hardcoded at the moment, uh, but this is totally different from the public uh, domain. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so as I've mentioned earlier, everything is separated now from the public side to the admin side. Everything is uh, protected by routes and permissions. Uh, if you remember, we have the ACL. Also, we have here the uh, categories, ACL. We have the permissions and the users or the roles. So I'm Sobi and I have different roles, but also I'm a super admin, okay? And I'm able to access also the domain, the public domain or the subdomain because I have these permissions. You can see that uh, on the web's web um, route file, web route file, we have some permissions. We have the check permission middleware, check permission, check permission. And here everything works by uh, checking the permission. If the permission exists, it continues. If not, it creates it and you will be able to uh, add it to the user. So this was how I've made a simple, uh, very simple um, separation between the public side and the admin panel. So on the next course, we will go and uh, customize the admin panel for further um, developments with maybe I will uh, go to the products. So we will create a basic product that we will be able to allocate to any of the categories. Okay, so let's see uh, each other on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>